Hey, Nimi here. Today we are at Festival Arena where the man himself is going to be taking to the stage to talk to the masses. Serial entrepreneur, CEO of Vayner Media, author, speaker, Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk. And I get to sit down with him for an exclusive interview. Gary V on DXB today with us here in Dubai. Gary, an honor to have you back. I feel like this is like your second home now. You're always here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. Thank you for that warm welcome and uh, I'm excited to be together as well. Uh, well, you know what? So much has changed in Dubai since you were even last year. Uh, things are moving at such a fast pace. I want to know from you in terms of an entrepreneurial space. So many more people are heading over here. The laws are adjusting to even get more people over here. How are we feeling this space is doing in Dubai and where do we see it going and why should other countries take note? That last part really has my attention. You know, I think the answer to that question is forget about opinions or observations. The data is very clear. Uh, the country is exploding. The, the reason other countries should pay attention is my point of view is Dubai is replicating something that worked for America 100 years ago, which is if you make it conducive for the A players of the world to come somewhere, they will go. Period, end of story. And you know, I think there's a really interesting observation of like, how does the world actually work? I would argue, the world works based on talent. Which places have the most human capital? And I think America's immigration laws for 100 years and capitalist structure created its empire. And I think what Dubai's been doing for the last 25, 30 years is very clear to me. It's doing a modern version of that. You've gotta do it thoughtfully, you've gotta do it at a proper pace. But it's been a leader in the region and I will actually argue that when we look back at Dubai and what it's done over these 25 years, in 100 years, we will understand that Dubai, at the center, Dubai changed the outcome of the entire Middle East. Now, one thing you spoke about on stage is how communication is possibly the greatest thing that you can master. I personally believe your voice is your greatest asset. For someone like you, you're a voice to so many. Uh, did you have a moment in your life, in your career, where you found your voice? How did you discover it? And how did you know how to use it? That's a great question. Um, I, I'll go backwards. I knew how to use it because all I'm really trying to do for the world is what my mom did for me, which is create a level of accountable, practical optimism and joy and love, not at the expense of merit. So I'll let everybody re-listen to that sentence a couple times because it really matters. So it was easy for me to figure out what I wanted to do with my voice. As far as how I created it or structured it or more importantly protected it, one of the things that's really interesting about me in hindsight is how little I listen to other voices. I think one of the ways I found my voice was by really owning my voice because I wasn't spending time listening to other voices. I, I argue that a lot of people listening or watching should spend less time listening to me and others and spending more time listening to lots of humans, listening to themselves. Um, and so I, I'm very proud of how I've developed my voice. It came out of a deeply empathetic and deeply sympathetic and deeply motivated for value for others place. And I think that's why it's resonated. Okay, last question for you, Gary. Last time I uh, sat down with you, I asked you what's next. And you said, it's not what's next, it's what's now. And that was TikTok about four years ago. What are we thinking now? Just an evolution of that. Like I think the TikTokification of every platform, we now don't live in the social graph world. We live in the interest graph. It's no longer get as many people to follow you as possible so that you post something, they see it. Now, somebody with five followers can post the most important piece of content on social media because the algorithm will take it and make it run because people showed that they were interested in it. So I would say the now is the interest graph, not the social graph, and that's something people have to adjust to, and that's what I spent the first 25 minutes talking about today, if people understood what I was talking about, and so that's what I want people to focus on. Gary V, thank you so much for your time. Thank you once again. Hey everybody, it's Gary V, and you're watching DXB Today.